Hello everyone, welcome back to another video talking kiki stuff. Today is my thoughts about equalizer to equalizer free. My thoughts. Before we start, as usual, squared alert. So you have been one, three, two, one, giving one. So it's been a good what a couple of weeks, few weeks now that I've not done a video. I've had um I injured my back a couple of weeks ago. Um had an MRI scan last week. The doctor said that I had um one of my, the discs in the back of my, it's bulging and it's um, causing rubbing against my nervous system. So I've taken two weeks off. Yeah, so I finally uh, watched this movie today because I feel a lot better. So I still got a few days off, signed off. So I can walk with the bus to the local cinema. And Equalizer. So Denzel Washington is one of my favorite all time actors. Um, I think I really liked him when he did um, the Crimson, Crimson Tide back in 95 with Tony Scott, one of, one of my favorite, I think probably my favorite Tony Scott film and probably my favorite Denzel Washington film. I've only done Tony Scott and Denzel Washington that works, um, I think about five films together. I've said this before, I think it's a shame that Tony died. Um, I think he committed suicide or something like that. I think I did like um, an illness that he was something about cancer, I'm not sure. Correct me, I'm wrong. And Equalizer 3 is the third, uh, probably the final one. Me personally, I like all three movies. Uh, Anton, F Anton Fupa, um, sorry if I butchered your name. He, in a way, kind of like continued Tony Scott style of movies, in a way. Uh, this is his, um, another great director. I think he also directed. Um, Training Day, again, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, which Denzel won his best supporting actor for. No, no, not supporting, best actor. He won the best actor for that. So, yeah, this just got back a few hours ago as normal. And as usual, we just play the train in the background. I like this film, I really liked it. There was a, a few, uh, what you call it, there was a few reviews that was giving it like two stars, three stars, or six out of ten and so on so i was okay i went in there and to be honest with you um i like these kind of genre of movies um a revenge movie or just a regular guy that everybody underestimates and beats the odds and just destroys everyone the story is pretty basic is your cliche you know um so then he starts off in Italy, uh, Sicily, and a vineyard, and I think the mafia boss starts driving with his son into his vineyard, and on the way there, gets out of the car, and then see all the dead bodies. And you see Denzel Washington in the basement, telling the mafia boss that, you know, that I'm here to take something back. So anyway, uh, he's sitting there with a couple of guys pointing at guns at him. And typical dental of you, like uh, you see the first two movies, it kind of tells you, it tells the bad guys what he's going to do in like 10 seconds or something. I think this time gave him nine seconds. And it does exactly what it says. See, so Denzel, what is he now? 68, 69, maybe 70 years old. I mean, he looks great for his age. I mean, and you, you know, you, you tell me he's like 50, I believe you straight away, but he looks amazing for his age. And what I liked about this movie was. I think what the director did was, you know, they know, he know that, you know, Denzel is not young anymore. So I think that as, a, as the movie progressed from one, two, and three, the action has got a bit more subtle. I think the very first scene, that's probably the most kind of physical movement you see. And the rest has been more, more like stealth kills and so on like that. So anyway, kills everyone. Um, he gets shot in the back by the, the kid, by the Mafia's boss kid. And uh, he didn't kill the kid, of course. No, that's not his style. So the way he's driving back to um, the mainland, I think, and then suddenly his car parked up and another car was behind. And that's so happened to be a police officer who saves him and takes him to the local doctor in some small village in Naples. Here's where I find a bit, a bit weird where... Since the police officer picked him up, you know, he didn't take him to the police station, didn't take him to local hospital. 
you know, just the local doctor fixed him up and told uh, the police officer not to tell nobody and fix this guy up. Um, a bit far fetched, but you know, it's all for entertainment. He, you know, he settles down in this nice village. You know, the village looks amazing, you know, I think I'm going on holiday there, you know. It's kind of like all these little houses up the mountains, see a church in the mountains. So, very, very good location. I would, it's definitely one of my places I might go and visit in Italy sometime soon. So, he starts to sell, he starts to heal up, and then he starts to meet the people around him and about, and he gets to know, get to know um, the people he meets, the city or the village or town. It's, like I said, it's great scenery. Then he calls up um, a CIA agent, Decoder. He played by Dakota Fanning. It's actually the same girl in The Man on Fire like 20 years ago, so it's great to see them kind of together. Just tips her heads and say that, oh yeah, by the way, in this vineyard in Sicily, there's this operation, drugs, and so on. And what's so good about this here, because um, it kind of tells you that I'm jumping to the end now, is when, right there when um, Denzel does all his thing, that he, he discovered all these drugs, and by accident, it was actually a bigger, a bigger story about Kind of like terrorists, I won't go into that, definitely watch it. Um, but talk about the action itself. Like I said, the action is more stealth. Because now Den's always in his coming 70s soon, so can't do too many physical action. And then usual, he settles down in his village, starts to know people, and then about 20, 30 minutes in, and then you start to see the local gangsters or the bullies, whatever you want to call it, mafia comes and starts taking protection money out soon. And Denzel always stands and just gives him a, like a stare down, dirty look. And as things progress, one of his, um, the villagers who kind of owns a fish farm or fish shop, shop uh, was late on payment and he gets beaten up. And then later on, the same store or same shop gets burnt down and so on. <clears throat> then the police officer who saved Denzel uh, was looking at some of the footage and you know, his family gets threatened. So he kind of, you know, and there's a bit in the, in the restaurant, I think it's in the trailer. He, you know, uh, he tells uh, the younger brother, the mafia, that you've got a few seconds or whatever. And he, you know, he just tears them down. So your, your typical cliche movie, you know, a retired badass in his, in his village where he wants to call home and protects the people. And, yeah, what followed is, you know, the bigger story with the CIA you know, it's kind of two separate sort of intertwined, but I let you, all, you guys watch it yourself. But the main thing I'm here to talk about is how I swear to God, Denzel, he's just so good. I mean, I was just captivated, captivated by him, his performance, his kind of sturdy look at, the, you know, he's just a good actor. And you see why he's one of the best actors. And if you're going to watch it just for him, I mean, I can understand some people didn't like it. Me personally, I love this kind of genre, you know. So yeah, it's uh, a great film. Definitely watch it. I love the ending. I really love the ending. One thing I love about it, they made the bad guys really bad, as in you hate them. And when they do get the kind of, you know, comeuppance, yes, you kind of like, good on you, you know, and you're rooting for Denzel to kind of harm them. I know, you know, violence is not everything, but yes, you wanted, you kind of wanted Denzel to kind of just talk, torture them. And I don't know, you've got to give credit to the writers and the director to kind of make you feel that way. So overall, it's a quick watch. This is, I think, the shortest one out of the three. The other two was like two hours plus. This is like about 110 minutes or around that. And, you know, it was a good pace. It wasn't laggy. It wasn't too fast. It was just the right pace. Great film. I thought the story was pretty cool. Yeah, a bit funny about why the doctor and the police officer didn't take him to the police station or question him or so on. But, hey, you know, you can... You know, put a blind eye to films like this and all that. So I love this film. Is I actually think is my favourite one, to be honest with you. I just don't know why. Because I like the old-fashioned storytelling. You know, a guy gets saved, wants to make home, retire from all the madness, and suddenly bullies come, he teaches him a lesson, and that's it. I love that kind of old-fashioned story. It kind of reminds me of a bit of the Seven Samurais, you know, if you know what I mean. So it was a magnificent seven kind of storyline. So I, I will give this a good seven and a half out of ten. Um, if this is the last one, great, it's a good send off. I would love to see a fourth one, but 
Uh, no, it depends who has the energy in two or three years' time. Don't worry. I'd like to say thank you for watching and please do subscribe for more talk and kicky stuff. And see you next time. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world, and please stay safe. Goodbye.